Carbon here with story time, and it is celebrating Vista Verde Grizzlies tonight, as well as our baby grizzlies over there at our preschool. And I'm going to read to you Las Posadas. Celebrate the tradition of Mexico, as well as Guatemala and other Latin American countries who celebrate Las Posadas. So you're going to learn all about that tonight. So thank you for joining me. Hola comunidad de Greenfield, soy Superintendente Galván, aquí con ustedes del Distrito Escolar de Greenfield, leyendo más historias, celebrando tradiciones de los días festivos, y esta noche no es diferente, es también algo que podemos celebrar, y se llama Las Posadas. So ustedes, yo creo que conocen de Las Posadas, y esta es una día o tradición que tenemos entre México, Guatemala, y otros pueblos y uh, países latinos. So vamos a leer y disfrutar juntos. Gracias por estar aquí. Y quiero decir a ustedes que pasen excelentes fines de semana y también tres semanas de vacaciones. Cuando regresamos, regresamos la uh, noche de leer historias. So vamos a tomar un descanso por tres semanas, pero regresamos cuando los niños regresan a la escuela. Okay, boys and girls, and I just wanted to say one more thing that we are going to be off for three weeks, so I'm going to stop story time just for three short weeks, and then when we come back to school on the 12th of January, we will resume so you can continue to have really great stories before you go to bed um, each night during school, okay? So here we go. Las Posadas. Let's see what we can learn about this beautiful tradition as we learned with Kwanzaa and with Hanukkah. In Mexico, Guatemala, and even some parts of the United States, the time between December 16th, which was yesterday, and December 24th is called Las Posadas. For nine nights, families reenact the Mary and Joseph journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem for the birth of baby Jesus. The holiday tradition began in Spain, but now it is celebrated in every Spanish-speaking country. Each night, families get together outside of their homes and they begin to walk from home to home. They knock on the doors and ask for lodging or posada. Posada means an inn or an accommodation. Homes and indoor patios are decorated with nativity scenes and light, lighted lanterns called luminaris. Let's see what else we can learn. Luminaris are small paper bags with cut out designs. The people place a candle in the bag and put it along the streets and pass to help light the way. When the group of people stop at each door to ask for posada, they sing a song asking to be led into the home. The people inside the home are also singing a song telling them that there is no lodging, so there's no room for them. The knocking and the singing continue from door to door until one family agrees to let the travelers in. This is a big tradition at our house. Families celebrate the delicious foods like tamales and buñuelos, a sweet fried dough. It's like a tortilla that they fry it and they put cinnamon and sugar on it. I love it. For the children, the best part of the celebration is the breaking of the piñata. A piñata is a paper bag form decorated with strips of paper in bright colors. The piñata is filled with candles, treats, and small toys. It is hung from the ceiling by a rope while the children are blindfolded and use a stick to try to break the piñata. When the piñata breaks, the real excitement begins. All the goodies fall to the floor and the children rush to gather them. The type of celebration called Las Posadas continues for nine days. Each night a different family will host a celebration in their home, serving delicious food and punch. On the last day, which is Christmas Eve, there is a mass filled with songs and prayers at the church. On Christmas day, some children may receive presents, but most must wait until Three Kings Day, which is on January the 6th. On that day, the family celebrates the arrival of the three kings, which are the wise men to Bethlehem, bringing gifts to the baby Jesus. And that's it, boys and girls, that was it. So Las Posada. It's several days, starts on the on the uh, 16th, goes to the 24th, and it's reenacting when Mary Joseph, Mary and Joseph, and they were looking for a place for baby Jesus. So Las Posadas. Hope you learned something tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. I wish you a fantastic three weeks off. We'll see you back here on January the 12th on our first day back to school. 
Hope you have a really great vacation. Stay safe, be careful, stay with your families, and we'll see you back here after vacation is over. I am Superintendent Galvan, so happy to be your superintendent, and I am sending a great big bear hug from our family to you.